It is only a myth that you only use 10% of your brain. Why do people believe that we only use 10% of our brain? Scientists and researchers suggest that this popular urban legend has existed since at least the early 1900s. It may have been influenced by people misunderstanding or misinterpreting neurological research. The myth has been perpetuated much like other urban legends. Movies depict characters capable of remarkable feats when the supposedly unused 90% of their brains are unlocked. Well-intentioned people such as motivational speakers or teachers often cite the 10% myth as a way to demonstrate that all people should strive to live up to their full potential. Unfortunately, less well-meaning people have also used the myth to promote and sell products and services that they claim will unlock your brain's hidden abilities. But how much of our brain we actually use? Well, neuroscientists point out a number of reasons why the 10% myth is not true, and that is brain imaging scans clearly show that almost all regions of the brain are active during even fairly routine tasks, such as talking, walking, or even listening to music. If the 10% myth were true, people who suffer brain damage as the result of an accident or stroke would probably not notice any real effect. In reality, there isn't a single area of the brain that can be damaged without resulting in some sort of consequence. We would not have evolved such large brains if we were only using a tiny portion of them. The brain uses approximately 20% of the body's energy. It would make little evolutionary sense to have such a large portion of our energy resources utilized by such a tiny amount of the brain. Brain mapping research has yet to find any region of the brain that does not serve a function. Numerous types of brain imaging studies show that no area of the brain is completely silent or inactive. You actually use all of it, even when you are sleeping. Neurologists confirm that your brain is always active. The next time you hear someone claim that we only use 10% of our brains, you'll be able to explain why this statement is not true. Not to say that human beings don't have amazing potential, we just use 100% of our brains to accomplish these remarkable feats.